Hello everybody! Today is Wednesday, June 24th, 2020. 84 Fahrenheit, 29 Celsius. I am in the Queens neighborhood of Jackson Heights today. And I'm going to be walking through this fabulous neighborhood to see what it's up to during the COVID-19 Phase 2 reopening of the New York City economy. I'm just off Roosevelt Avenue on 80th Street. And we'll see what's going on here in this neighborhood. Jackson Heights has a lot of history and it's also the most diverse neighborhood probably in the world. Let's go check it out. So right here we have a restaurant. They have outdoor seating available. This is how they're doing their tables and chairs. They got umbrellas out to protect their patrons from the sun. I'm really excited for this neighborhood. I already walked through a little bit, but I have to show you what's going on here because it is lively and it seems like Things are almost back to normal here. DTUK wants a shout out for the mods. Yes, mods, you're doing a great job. Thank you so much. Posita Rica, shout out to them as well. Look at this one. Whoa, Tamales Colombianas. Can you even hear me right now? OMG, is that OMG for the subway or OMG for this cute dog? Doggy doggy is waiting for its owner. Must be in here. Tracy Turner Jackson with $1.99. I'm your favorite YouTuber. I'm very happy that you think I am? Okay. Here's appliances and hardware. So phase two is very important for the neighborhood of Jackson Heights because um, the barbers and hair salons are open, the outdoor dining is available, and also retail is available, although at a re uh, reduced capacity. Bill Sites with 10 bucks, thank you. I just left that area a half hour ago. I would have said hello. Oh man. Well, at least I get passed by next time. But thank you for the 10 bucks. I'm glad I'm showing your neighborhood now. Polos a la Brasa Mario. El Paliseo de los Frisoles. Open pickup and delivery. How's my Spanish? Okay. I am approaching the busiest commercial street in Jackson Heights, 82nd Street. And it's always been a commercial street ever since the Queensboro Corporation marketed it and Mr. Jackson really promoted this area and I'm getting that bug again where I can't see the live chat I really hate this bug but I'm gonna have to uh, deal with it because we have the quesadilla and taco food cart coke and Pepsi very good all right, let's go 82nd Street now. A lot of people here, 82nd Street, check it out, folks. It's hard to even walk on the sidewalk here. 
All right. So I got to show you what's going on here on this block because it's really something. Something I haven't seen before the uh, New York State on pause started. It's people actually shopping inside stores like this one here. They're shopping in there. This next store right here is Old Navy. Look at Old Navy. There's people here waiting in line to get their order picked up. And also a line to get into the store and into Old Navy. People can't wait to shop again. This is what they miss, folks. Here's Old Navy. They even got a sign there that says hi. They're limiting the amount of people inside the store, so they're really like guiding people in. And these are new too, these social distancing tape to let you know how far back you need to stand from someone. I'm really happy to see New York like this because New York was really hard hit from COVID-19 and to see people out like this. Um, having a good time, wanting to shop for clothes and do other sorts of things makes me have hope that things are getting back to normal soon. Gap Kids and Baby, long line for Gap Kids and Baby. Hi, Sounds of the City, thank you for joining in. And here's a, a store with a lot of people waiting outside. Foot Locker. People want their latest shoes and sneakers, whatever. Look at Foot Locker, folks. And also another shoe store next to Foot Locker. The Skechers store. Also has a line to get into Skechers. They got tape inside the store, letting people where, which direction to travel and where to stand. Things of that nature. People here out enjoying stuff, enjoying life. I've also seen a lot of um, these fruits and vegetable stands too. Mangoes, a dollar each, two for two bucks. I, sit, I certainly want a mango eventually. Here's a juice vendor. You can get your juice here. Boost your immune system. Have more energy. In fact, I'm getting more energy just from seeing all these people out. Seeing all these people out, all this energy, hearing the music, the salsa music. Here's another restaurant. La Casa de los Anto Antojitos Bakery also has a outdoor dining area right now. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the video quality, folks. I really can't really control what Verizon's doing, but I just got to deal with it now. We have Cafe Bene across the street, two police officers outside. Also a uh, outdoor seating area here at La Buena Roja Steakhouse. I'm gonna walk just a little bit and see what's going on with the video streaming connection. If it still looks poor, then I might try streaming with my other phone. That's all. I'm kind of looking at the quality now. It's holding up a little bit, but I really hope it doesn't go back to what it was before, all fuzzy. Right now, it seems like it's okay. 
Дени, гала. So this is 37th Avenue. All right, the quality got a little bit better. I guess it was just that little strip of 37th Avenue where the quality is degraded a little bit. Anyway, let me make a right here. I'll show you one of the side streets of Jackson Heights, 79th and 37th, because Jackson Heights was um, created as a upscale community by the Queensboro Corporation. And Jackson Heights was named after John Jackson. He was a wealthy Queens entrepreneur, so they named the neighborhood after him. They also named a street after him too, called Jackson Avenue. Jackson Avenue is known today as today's Queens Boulevard. In fact, there is a section of the street still known as Jackson Avenue, and it's in Long Island City. B. Griffin's asking if there's any heights in Jackson Heights. So, good question, you asked that. So, heights is just a made up term back then to differentiate the neighborhood from being more upscale. It was a marketing tool. It wasn't really a um, term to denote the geology of the region. So Jackson, because it was named after John Jackson, and the Heights, because they wanted to make this neighborhood upscale so people could move in. Because the Queensboro Corporation. Thank you so much for that. And my quality is still sucking, so I think I'm gonna switch phones. Let me try with my other phone, the T Mobile. So I'm gonna make another one. This is uh, not good. I'll be back maybe in three, four minutes.